me and power tools? Sounds like an odd combination, doesn't it? But I was forced to get comfortable with them when I joined the Frame to Finish crew for the day. I don't think I've ever worn a tool belt before. Really? <laughs> Do I look I've like, I wear, do, do seen, I look like I wear tool seen, belts? Like, did, no, Dave quickly realized I wasn't lying about that tool belt part. Buckle it. There you go. <laughs> All right, Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't worn one before, have you? No. <laughs> uh, I was off to a rough start. It's me with power tools. That could be scary. <laughs> scary? But Dave had be. confidence in me, although I'm not sure why. Have you ever used a nail gun before? <laughs> no, yeah, I've, never so used, on I've never used a nail gun. Push it against the wood. And surprisingly, I wasn't too bad with the nail gun. Yeah. Nice. You're a pro. Yeah. Nice. And Mark since I had redeemed myself strong. from the tool belt issue, I moved on to an even bigger nail gun. That, am I using right, that? Put it on here. Yeah, you're gonna use this one. That looks scary. But the method was the same. Gonna push it in. Pull the trigger. Three nails per stop. My turn. It feels so powerful. <laughs> You guys are trusting letting me so close to you with this tool. <laughs> I was starting to see my work come together. Here. Oh, there's going to be a wall here? Yeah. Oh, yeah it was a good thing I had proved myself with the nail gun because things went downhill when I moved to the outside of the building. It makes me nervous being so close to your fingers oh, don't worry and doing about this it. for the. The staple gun and I were not friends. Nice. Well, that missed. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. Did I still miss? Mm. Hmm. Mm. If anyone complains about this storage yes. unit, you can blame me. <laughs> I retired from the staple gun, and next on the agenda was to crimp metal, and I was learning from a pro. We actually we call them Hemington steel because when you when you uh, bend and crimp metal, it's called a hem. Daryl, who was nicknamed by the crew Hemington Steel, had me cut the metal, bend the metal, and measure the metal. How do you remember all the measurements? I also learned from him that the tool belt was not just an accessory. I haven't, I haven't even looked in my tool belt yet. I've just been wearing it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I knew nothing about that tool belt. I thought I'd put What's a cast bar in there, right there. A, ca a what? Yeah. I saw everyone else have a hammer, but I just thought maybe you didn't trust me with one. No. Your hammer fell off, so that's why. It, it did? Yes, it did. Next up, the power saw. Great job. Right, Kelsey. I like this tool. <laughs> My time with the crew was just for the morning, but I knew they had a long day ahead of them. I couldn't imagine doing this for 10 hours a day. Uh, in the, heat. the elements and the physical labor combined make it the hardest. And when I asked Dave if he thought I could last all day? Yeah, I don't see why not. There is hesitation there. <laughs> but I mean, he did have a reason to be concerned based on the first impression. Were you worried when you saw me right off the bat drop my tool belt? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. But personally, I think the crew liked having me around. If it never doesn't work out with Channel 6. I got a job with frame to finish. With frame to finish. In Berwick, Kelsey Fabian, News Center.